we will actually start with the network. You can't, well, you, you can start a machine without a network, but you won't be able to connect to it and do anything. So, so it's easier to just start with the network part. I'm just going to get my notes here on the other screen so I don't forget to tell you anything. Mm -hmm. There were demos. Okay, so if we go to the network tab and open up the network topology, we can see a sort of sketch uh, of the network and we only have one object here. And this is, you can toggle labels. This is the external net. And this has been set up um, by our administrators, so you don't have to do anything or you can't do anything with this network. Uh, you can say this is the internet. Uh, so before we can do create our own network, we need a router. Uh, that's a machine or a router which will route traffic from our network to the, the outside, the, the internet. So we begin with a router. And these are only for you, so you can choose any name you, you wish. Uh, I think it would be good if you figure out some uh, company name or something that you will use during this course, so it'd be easier for you to have some sort of naming standard. Um, I usually have a, a company I, uh, which called MediaWork, which I've been using for some years, which isn't the real company, or maybe it exists, I don't know, but it's in, just in my head. So I, it doesn't matter what you pick here. This is just for easier for you to, to uh, address when you are typing in, in uh, commands and stuff like that so you know what uh, the name is. It then will ask which is the external network this router uh, is connected to. And that's, we only have one. Just going to see that everything seems to be working on live coding TV. Yes, good. So, and you see they are connected uh, with this uh, graph. Uh, you can click on them and get some information about it. Then we will we'll create a network. We can use this our, as our local area network for our internal machines. Uh, usually called LAN for local area network. It should be up and we want to create a subnet. And then you can click on these or just hover over these uh, uh, question marks and it will help you to uh, to describe how you should put what the format should be. And here we have, this should be a private network. So I'm entering a, some sort of uh, network that is private. Uh, you can choose anything from uh, 192.168 or 10, the 10 address space. Uh, you know, just uh, pick one that is a, a private network. And then we should have the, the net mask at the end with a slash. So slash 24 for the full uh, network. A gateway, we will set up that in a while because we will use the router that we pick, but it hasn't got an interface yet. So we have no, no port to connect to it yet. And then we will get information about uh, this network should it have a DHCP server. So we don't have to put up our own DHCP server. Uh, our cloud can do that for us. Uh, so we will have some addresses in this network which we will uh, put out to our clients. Uh, and you specify this, you can see here, with the comma. So the start address, and then a comma, the end address. 
So let's take 49 addresses here. Then if our clients are supposed to be able to go out on the internet, uh, they will through our router, but we don't have any DNS server uh, yet. So it won't be able to look up if you type in google.com or something like that from a virtual machine, it won't be able to, to look up that address. And when you're here in school and using this cloud, you must use the DNS servers that are here. Uh, and so you just have to learn these. Uh, 194.47.199.41. And the second one, we have two, one in Kalmar and one in Vecco. So these you should have. Uh, and then we create our network. So now we have our router and our LAN, but they are not connected. We haven't put in the, the cord yet. So we have to create an interface on the router and connect that to our LAN. So it asks us which subnet we want to connect it to and the address. Usually we pick the first address or the last in the network uh, for the router. I picked the first one here. It actually doesn't matter. It will update the DNS so our clients will get this information. Uh, we got a question on live coding, what this is for course. This course is system administration uh, and we will use this network uh, or this cloud for the students to uh, create their machines. So now we see that they are connected. So machines that we will put into this network will be able to go through our router out to the internet. Good. Uh, so if we wanted another network that is separated from our LAN, so we can put our servers that should be publicly accessed, then we just create another network and connect that to the router. Uh, 